After Buzzers. I'm Emma Fife, and we are down here in lovely downtown Los Angeles for Anime Expo Day Zero. And I am uh, here with Kyle A. Bear. Did I say that correctly? You did. You win the internet. My God. <laughs> I've had to correct the other uh, press folks, but that's okay. That's okay. Bonus. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. All they have to do is look at your Wikipedia, and it uh, it actually says how you should right, pronounce it. Right. Right. It's out there. It's yeah. out there. It's amazing what you can learn on the internet. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Kyle, let's talk a little about your background. You okay. come from a radio background, correct? That's right, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a DJ doing everything from classic country to heavy metal to kids radio. I was mm -hmm. a radio Disney DJ from 96 to 2005, wow. back when uh, that format started. I, I was luckily one of the, one of the people uh, that started on day one with uh, coming up with infotainment features and character voices and radio drama and introducing the songs that were pummeled into your heads in the late 90s and the, the start of the boy band craze mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And I'm just turning the speaker down. I don't want, I'm really sick of hearing Mbop and Macarena mm -hmm. and All Star and Blue from Life of 65. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the 90s. That was a great time for music. So then how did you transition into doing voice acting out of that? Was that something you'd always wanted to pursue? Oh, my God, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to get into animation voice work and be a DJ. So I started getting a broadcast degree, which led to the various networks like the country stuff and the kids stuff and all that. And while I was at Radio Disney, I heard about auditions in 2000, summer of 2000. So, my God, 15 years ago. Um went in tried out for Dragon Ball Z which I already was a fan of right you know because it had aired in the states from like 95 to 2000 on independent stations on Saturday mornings at like 5 a.m. so I had to set my VCR it's like oh good it'll stop flashing 12 now I learned how to program a VCR what are those it's an old technology back in the day so yeah we, we did that I went I, I got extremely lucky because I had passion for it I felt like this is my life calling I'm gonna go in and either it's meant to happen or it's not meant to happen, but I'm gonna go in and treat it like a job. I'm gonna treat it like it's meant to be. And luckily it was meant to be. Yay! So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, and you've had an extremely prolific uh, voice acting career. Thank you. Thank uh, you. With uh, some big announcements for you uh, fairly recently. Uh, number one, Ryu. Are we say we're saying Ryu now, right? Not yes. Ryu? Yeah, yeah. Capcom told me it's Ryu. So you <laughs> folks who think Ryu says Hadouken, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ra Ryu says Hadouken. <laughs> Tatsumaki said Bukyak. And I was like, not, not, I'd like some pound cake. So, so remember, I wish I could say hurricane kick. It's a lot easier to say than Tatsumaki said Bukyak, but you know. But Capcom won't allow that. No, no, they won't, but it's okay, because, you know, Hadouken is just, you know, one of those. Those things, and sure you can. Now with Super Smash Brothers. That's exactly what I was going to lead into. Was yeah. we just found out he's going to be in Super Smash Brothers? He is. You can download him right now, and that's what I did on my birthday. I found out because the internet exploded. It's like, oh my God, reuse playable on Super Smash Brothers. It's like, oh good, I guess I could talk about it. <laughs> download it. Like, I got my 3DS going. I'm downloading it, and I still suck at it. Button mash, button mash, <laughs> button mash. Like, oh, I'm terrible, but at least I'm on there. <laughs> Woo! Exactly. Happy birthday to you, right? Right. It was. It was the coolest birthday present ever because I've been sitting on that for a few months. Usually with video game development, months or maybe even years pass before it comes out. And I'm like, you know, under penalty of death practically. It's like, <laughs> we'll kill your firstborn if you talk about it. Do not talk about Fight Club. Don't tweet about it or anything. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel that most of the time when I interview voice actors, they've signed about 9,000 non-disclosure agreements. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes just to audition, we'll sign an NDA. Definitely at the session. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so in addition to, of course, uh, being Ryu in Street Fighter, uh, another announcement, you're playing a new character in One Piece, correct? Ah, yes, Capone. Yeah, yeah. Joel McDonald, who directs a lot of the episodes nowadays, uh, he said, hey, if you're coming into town, which I was at the time, I was <laughs> like, hey, cool, because I live in L.A. now. Right. But I started in Texas, where Funimation still is, and so I'll commute there a few times a year and get to work on new projects. Mostly bit part stuff, but he said, I got something better than the occasional Pirate A, Pirate B kind of guy. <laughs> It's like, I think you'd be perfect for this. And so he told me about it. It's like, yeah, his name's Capone. And yeah, just kind of make him sound like a, a Chicago mafioso. I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Yeah. yeah. And I saw people, you know, including Joel, the director, just going, yes, it's Kyle as Capone. Like, all right. And I haven't seen One Piece because anything as daunting as 600 plus episodes, I'm probably not going to start. 
but I will trust the fandom to let me know <laughs> what is going on. And they are just like ballistic. They're exploding with glee that these episodes and these characters have now emerged. And they're like, hey, we know you and you're that guy. I'm like, I'll take it. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's interesting considering you work on Dragon Ball Z, which also has a hefty number of episodes. But we were dubbing it back in the day and I was watching it as it was released first in VHS and yeah. then DVD. So that one I kept up with. I actually have seen most of the 291Z and I've seen all the movies, including the new one, Resurrection F, in theaters mm -hmm. August 4th through 12th and debuting <laughs> this. You know, does that sound like, here, plug, promote. Promote, promote, promote. <laughs> Like something like Z needs promotion. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Katie, who is so kindly filming this for us right now, her one of her uh, friends asked a really interesting question because yeah. he is a big fan of the character of Gohan, who, of course, you do the adult and teen voice of. He basically asked, uh, with you know the resurgence of Dragon Ball Z with things like Dragon Ball Z Kai and the new movies, do you have any hopes for the uh, character of Gohan? Do you hope he might take more of a center stage kind of role than he has? <laughs> I don't think it'll be a center stage thing it seemed like when he was a kid because he was so it was so Gohan centric when yeah, he was a younger character yeah. and then it seemed like it was building it was going somewhere and then Majin Buu does whatever he does and then it goes off into GT land but you know with the new movies it kind of retcons GT and it's like for, forget that let's go somewhere <laughs> else with Dragon Ball Super so yeah. hopefully we'll have a chance to see a different direction I'm not going to hold my breath saying that, oh, he's going to become the focus. I don't think that's what it's about. No. Mm -hmm. I think it's such an ensemble piece anyway. A lot of great characters get some moments, especially in the movies now. Totally. And uh, in addition to Gohan, you do the voice of several other characters, including one of my personal favorites, the Ox King. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he's like derpy Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> Snap it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> I love doing that voice. People say, what's the thing that has the most, you know, most fun to do? I say, definitely Ox King, because he is so blissfully unaware of what's going on. <laughs> and, you know, high stakes. Like, oh, no. Oh, you know, I just, I could just talk like that all day. And I might just have to now. <laughs> And now here at Anime Expo this weekend, I understand that you are going to be emceeing the Masquerade. MC, wicka, wicka, wicka. Yeah, me and Liesl Wil Wilkerson, uh, who you may know from Tekken, the voice of Nina. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be going back and forth, introducing skits and walk-ons and all that. And it's going to be fun, especially if I butcher Japanese names because she knows it. She's lived in Japan. She can sit there and totally throw me under the bus when I butcher the names. <laughs> now, have you yourself ever uh, dabbled in the world of cosplay? I have dabbled only in a very extremely casual sort of sense, whereas a fan made me an Ox King helmet. Oh. So I might actually pack that and wear that um, to the uh, the uh, masquerade. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Fantastic. I think everybody would love that. And you're also the narrator of all of Dragon Ball Z these days, yes? Well, for Z, yeah, he was in Battle of Gods. I have to say that um, I didn't see an appearance or hear an appearance in the new movie, but mm. there is in the new show, but every saga has its own narrator, so I'm not going to hold my breath on that one, but <laughs> hey guys, just give me a call. Gohan's still in the show. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> um, do you have any... Uh, favorite stories of fan interactions because I mean you've been working on Dragon Ball Z for a number yeah. of years now so you've been doing the con circuit for a while absolutely you know yeah, people signing body parts and like, having the body parts tattooed and like what this is crazy but things that just really kind of you, you get taken aback and just realize like wow this is this is meaningful is hearing the stories of a lot of anime fans who, who deal with depression and watching these shows and playing these games help them cope with it uh, I've had that in multiple times in regards to Dragon Ball, or more specifically, Gurren Lagann. My role is Kamina because he's such a very positive, inspirational sort of character to Simone in that show that a lot of people going through difficult times have, they've said, it's like, I was really, I was going to pop the pills and just end my life that night, but I decided to watch that show and, and your character helped stop me. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. I mean, I'm doing this because I love it. And I love uh, having a connection to a world where people are, we're all bonding with these characters and these stories and this art form. But to take it to a one level beyond just mere entertainment. Oh, you made us laugh or it was a good performance. It literally changes someone's life path like that. that that's it's like, wow, that is like the coolest icing on the cake ever. Who would have thought, you know, an anime series that's about battles epic battles that last 15 episodes <laughs> right. sometimes exactly like power up power up like what time is it yep still powering up 
<laughs> but yeah, and then and then it's a generational thing too. Yeah. I've seen you know because it's been fifteen years yep. plus that we've been working on it as initially in in, in Texas. Uh, and and then now you have the new movies like Battle of Gods was number five at the box office last year. That's yeah. a really impressive. And then now this one I'm sure is poised to to make even more money like it has in Japan. And we're seeing the window between releases so much smaller. It was a year before Battle of Gods came out. This time Resurrection F is like maybe six months tops. I am hoping next time that we get simultaneous release worldwide because we are a world market. Let's all work together <laughs> yeah. to get, you know, it's not going to totally curb piracy, no. but it will, you know, the people are chomping at the bit to get this new anime, especially something uh, like a tentpole franchise like Dragon Ball Z to get the new stuff out there as soon as possible. Totally. Now, uh, obviously you were a fan of Dragon Ball Z going into it when you started dubbing it. Was, is there any other series that you got to work on that you were already sort of a fan of when you came into it? I knew about... Um, what a pop culture sensation Naruto was because it was about four or five years before the dub uh, uh, materialized but uh, I hadn't really seen much of that or Bleach but I know how important it is to you know flocks of fans and getting a, a, a getting onto these franchises like Full Metal Alchemist uh, it's a smaller role but Vato Fallman one of Roy Mustang's guys Again, that's that. That's one of those anime shows I can show people who don't watch anime. Yeah. It's like you need to watch Cowboy Bebop. You need to watch Full Metal Alchemist. These are things that transcend the. It's like I don't want to watch anime. It's like no, you need to watch this. It's seriously that good. I completely agree with you on uh, both of those series. By awesome. the way, <laughs> I have no taste in anime. <laughs> so you you've uh, you've done a lot of sort of tough guy martial arts characters, but mm -hmm. actually uh, you're also the voice of one of my favorite anime dads, Madoka's dad uh, in uh, yeah. Puella Madoka Magica. Yeah, yeah, he's he's just a sweet dude, <laughs> and it's like, what sort of voice do we have for? Him? It's like, just be yourself, Kyle. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I'll just be good old dad because I am a dad. My daughter's like. 19 but you know <laughs> still i'm a parent i can relate yeah. to all that yeah. yeah you certainly have a wide range of characters that uh that you're oh, able yeah. to portray otherwise how could you have had as prolific of a career as you have <laughs> <laughs> luck a lot of luck. <laughs> now you have to do a lot of fight scenes in dragon ball z was mm -hmm. that something that you were prepared to do going into it did you and, well initially 15 years ago <laughs> no so it tore my voice up it Ooh. tore everyone's voice up on that show now it's just like oh that was just like you know going to college and getting a degree in something it's like now I can voice uh, a video game like Street Fighter and have it not phase me at all all the Hadouken Shoryuken Kamehameha you know whatever I have to scream for two hours straight I can get through it because I said I got this. I worked on Dragon Ball Z. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're now the, uh, the the fighting noise expert. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I like doing that at a lot of uh, conventions as a panel, like a video game voice acting workshop where I can have people come up from the audience and say, here, you do some fight sounds like, ugh, 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 you know, <laughs> or laughing or dying or being electrocuted or whatever. It's so much fun. Are you working on any projects right now that you are allowed to tell us about that you haven't signed 7,000 uh, non-disclosure agreements regarding? I guess it's safe to say there will always be more Naruto in, in the pipeline. <laughs> Kiba and Inuichi continue. Uh, more games on the forefront, too. Um, gosh. No, I think everything else is, is mum is the word. I just <laughs> smile and nod until you see it on my social media feed on Twitter and Facebook or my website. I mean, like... This is out, and I'm that person. <laughs> what are your uh, your social media names, et cetera, so people can find you on the internet? Funny, you should ask. <laughs> Tweet me, at Kyle Hebert, K-Y-L-E-H-E-B-E-R-T. I know it looks like Hebert, but it's Hebert. So Kyle Hebert. Don't put at Kyle Herbert. That's not me. Different person completely. Totes my goat. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, Kyle, thank you so much for sitting down and talking yeah. with me today. You were delightful. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> much love, guys. <laughs> And thank you to all of you for watching. Be sure to check out more on our Anime Expo playlist from AfterBuzz TV so you can see all the fun stuff that we uh, got a chance to check out this weekend. Bye! <laughs>